What's up, everybody? Welcome back to more Shanti and the Pirate's Curse. I'm sorry. <laughs> it also says, yes, welcome back to more Shanti and the Pirate's Curse. Last time, we made it through um, half of the um, Mudbog Island, like these split. Thankfully, because, oh my god, this area is like Kirby. Oh uh, my god. Okay. And we managed to gain ourselves access to the Order Fellows Suffering. Our next major dungeon. This episode, let's not waste any time. Let's enter. Let's prepare our suffering. Okay. This music. Oh my god. It's awesome. I love the soundtrack. Okay. The main thing here with the order tell of suffering is, well, suffering. <laughs> what else can be said? Now, throughout this area, is going to be a lot of fire going on. Like, a lot, a lot of fire. So, like, it especially makes sense for there to be a lot, a lot of lava here in this area. Okay, these guys, new enemies, golems. They're these smaller ones, and these, well, they're bigger ones. These golems basically do is just roll around. They're not all that t tough. And, yeah, you can see this area is especially dark, because you see those giants here, like, bathing in the lava? Yeah. Those are, those are, yeah, I assume, like, these are supposed to be, like, the, um, some, like, an example of the, um, evil neurodurals that we heard of last time. You know, it's just meant to suffer here for all, for all time. Like, he's just sitting there bathing in lava. You don't get much worse suffering than just sitting there bathing in lava. I mean, seriously, that is, like, ugh, creepy. Just, it's one of those areas you don't want to end up like, in the afterlife. Like, you, seeing this all, ugh, really makes you just want to dodge this place at all times. Just makes you worry, am I going to end up here in the afterlife? I guess, in, in this universe, it's, I'm saying, I'm not, I'm not saying I believe in heaven or, or, heaven or hell. I'm just getting that out there. So it has that creepiness. Anyway, here, we have the, uh, uh, Obelite of Suffering map. Which is especially good to give it to, give it to us early. Because, as here, we have a room that we need to downward strike to progress any further. But, like, that's not all. Like, down here, we actually have a heart squid I don't think we can actually get right now. I, I think we could have, uh, just flopped my chance to get it. Okay, this right here, it's actually kind of a little bit of a switch puzzle. Actually, kind of, sort of. Can't do anything else with these, like, it is quite yes, so really the only really the only place we can go is this way. Taking down this path. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry I won't do that anymore like, at all. Alright, just get in here, just gotta get burned by more fire. Yeah, that's beautiful. Just step on fire, get burned by fire, and just avoid these spikes at all costs. Uh this can be a little tricky to navigate, but yeah, just keep leasing and just docking away your pirate hat, and you should be, hopefully get to this kind of no problem. This is where the um, map of this area... Uh, <laughs> as if my um, battle with the Squid Baron wasn't an indication, this, this game is actually starting to get a bit trickier. Got a key! Uh, yeah, you know my stance on the... Um, game telling us, hey, you got a key, let me tell you how to use it. Oh, okay, it's, it's, it's getting way past annoying at this point. I'm like, shut up, game. We know what a key is used for. Can I stop botching that jump? There we go. Okay, I actually made it that time. Okay, so we got some of these, some more of these golems down here. We got some larger golems. These guys will typically just spawn some more smaller golems, and just like the smaller ones, they roll around. So, even in that sense, 
they're not all that bad to deal with. You don't have to worry about them all that much. They do have a little bit of friendly fire to them. And when I, when I say friendly fire, that doesn't, that doesn't just apply to guns for anyone before they can before they actually spout that. No. But it, okay, what that basically just kind of means is that they will attack their allies. So that's actually kind of nice and something to keep in mind. So I just blast that over there. And head in here. I head through here, actually, because that's the locked door that we need to go through. Okay. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about this. Yet. Hint, hint. Maybe we'll get the ability to deal with them. Maybe. Possibly. Potentially. Maybe. Okay, just enough of that. Now, I'll just go jump with these friggin' heads that... <clears throat> okay, I do kind of like this. Kind of. Especially the, um... All these things. Kind of being a... Freaking ceiling! Oh, I, for I forgot the ceiling tiles did this in this dungeon as well. Ah, uh, those ceiling tiles are gonna be the death of me. I just know it. Right. Coming from someone who is a big time dragon fan, I am actually kind of a unvocal start to that. They're awesome. Okay, so here we are another cage that doesn't make any sense that we'd be able to face through a wall huzzah okay it's gotta hit these switches just to be able to go through here it's kind of kind of a prime example of running me like the our areas are getting a bit trickier as we go on like we have like heck we have single block flat okay yeah I guess it could just say single block platforms at this in point because these are so small, it's like kind of precise platforming landing. Like, I'm not exactly the biggest fan of the world of um, precise jumping, but then again, I'm not exactly too big of. I'm not exactly the best at precision, so I'm open to admit that. And here we have Risky's boots. The, okay, how the. How did Risky's boots end up here? Like, seriously. Ugh. Anyway, with Risky's boots, we can run super fast. We have this little barrier around us protecting us. Which is nice. And we can get that heart squid now. Awesome. We just simply just run across here. Which is kind of what we need to do here. Oh, I pressed it too fast. The idea is you need to run long enough, and when you get that glow, press Y. That's how you do a Mega Dash. When you run into certain walls like that, you can actually find some pretty nice like, hidden gems. Ha ha, get it, hidden gems. <laughs> okay, all puns aside though, it is a really, really nice item. It's like, actually my favorite among these items. And ugh, these guys, why do you have to come back? Uh, the order to the order to suffering is right. Like these guys suck. That's why I want to kill them so badly. Uh, they're not all that tough to deal with. It's just that those guys in particular, the one I just killed, I end up getting hurt by those most of all because I always end up forgetting their existence at that given area, and I just get up to them and it just they end up hurting me before I end up killing them. Uh, it sucks out loud. Okay, I, I need to get a good ring start. Okay, you need to time this carefully because... Ah, uh, no, 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 get, 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 get. Uh, Because, yeah, you have this long stretch of an area. Ooh, ooh beautiful gems, I like. Me liking more money. <laughs> okay, I don't like money that much. It's, it's basically the word of all evil. But yeah, we do need money to survive, unfortunately. Ugh, wouldn't this be nice if this was a currency-free world? 
And then again, we probably have more chaos than we do now, so I think it's lesser two evils to have money. Okay, let's not get into that right now. Let's just, we're just here to enjoy some Shantae. Like, we're not here to delve into serious t subject matter. That's for rant time of Klaus, man. Alright. So, what we gotta do now is that we gotta flip all these switches down here. And, there we go. Clear pathway for us to run across here and... Uh, these things... Uh. Okay, these things that made me look creepier, but honestly, I kind of like the projectiles a lot more. Like, just shooting skulls that has this kind of exploding skulls. They're, they're pretty cool. Like, Okay, that's kind of ironic. I'm creeped out by these guys attacking with their tongue, but I'm fascinated with them shooting skulls at us. That's... I confuse even myself with what I'm saying. Jeez. <laughs> uh, seriously, Klaus, what are you even anymore? Ugh. And there we go. Ah, uh, that's... I, okay, I guess I can... Okay, does it... Okay, it didn't deserve that much. Okay, just crop down here. Get more. Okay, that's what I get for going after that money. As much as it says I was just saying how the m money is basically the root of all evil. Oh well. At least we can grab this, no problem. That's just kind of the only reason why I went that way in the first place, is just get more gems. Even though. Gems. Honestly, to me, at this point, doesn't really serve much of a purpose. It's just more... I guess at this point, it's just getting more supplies, like potions and stuff, that can be kind of useful. Whatever. Also, also, as you can see here, the more enemies that we strike down, the more damage we actually do to each enemy. So that's also really, really nice. And we get a heart squid just by slamming into that wall right there. Another really pretty good reason for coming here, actually. Even though this is actually the required path. Let's see. One was. Oh, it's this one. Dewey. Wow, I'm forgetting even details in this area here. I'm, and I'm more praising in this area than I have the Lost Catacombs. Oh, <laughs> Except for that guy who just comes up out of nowhere. I always get hurt by them because I keep forgetting where they are. Uh, I, you'll never hear me stop complaining about those jerks. I mean, they are the most jerkish enemies that we've faced thus far. I dare, dare I say worse than the Scorpion Girls. I've, I'd sooner want to battle the scorpions than those things. At least, you can see where they are at all times, just, uh, got more of these stupid platforms. Yeah, let's, let's bring back something I didn't like about the Lost Catacombs. Uh, I don't mean to sound overly negative. <coughs> <coughs> Especially something that's meant to be <coughs> a good thing and more praiseworthy. Holy crap, I've been putting a lot of strain in my throat lately. Mwah. Oh well. Maybe this is the order to total suffering in more ways than one. <coughs> okay, we got that. I'm going. And before I go any further. There's that heart squid that I want. Huzzah! Beautiful, adorable heart squids. Uh, aren't they just the cutest thing ever? They're right up there with Chow from so the Sonic universe. I swear, the Chow is the most adorable creatures ever. Okay. Fanboying aside, though, we just need to flip this switch to progress onward. 
And yeah, the only reason that cage is even there in the first place is to help us get that heart squid. So we don't need to worry about that. And this looks like an area we can run. Let's dash over everything. Ha! <laughs> Huzzah! Yeah! Uh, I'm having far too much fun with this. Okay. So we dash here. There we go. More money! Yes! I can't. Actually, I can salvage those gems. See me douse these, that mid box creature before he float away over here, which I believe is a den of evil up, here, up, up ahead. Actually, yeah, that, I'm pretty sure this is a den of evil. And indeed it is! Huzzah! Awesome! I don't want to take any chances, so I will indeed use a save man here. Because remembering this boss is a pain in the ass. Let's go inside the den of evil. And let's obliterate the evil inside. <clears throat> A dragon! Massively misspelled monstrosity. I like that. Okay, so what we gotta do here is, we gotta slam the switches in order to spawn those platforms. What you need to do here is, you need to knock him down. And just rip him as much as we possibly can. Having both upgraded your hair speed and your attack are especially useful here. Although I find the, um, buying hair cream is... Especially important. Like, we'll get into why that is. Okay, I got him down. I got him down. Go, 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 go. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. That, ah, yeah. Ah, uh, oh, I could have got him there. Yeah, smack him down. His only two attacks are that of his flamethrower and his mace. The mace, what that mainly does is just destroy the platform you need to get up to him. So, yeah, unfortunately he's kind of a pain in that regard, but hey, what can he do? Just smash that switch. Oh, okay, now, now he's even faster. I forgot about this. After it gets to a certain point, they they move even faster. So, yeah. A pain in the ass boss fight? Yeah, that's the dragon. I, I didn't even hit him once. Just to knock him down. That's bad. Ugh. All right. Ah, oh, crap. This is not good. Okay, just sound the switch. Let's spawn those platforms. Ah, however, that my you know, this kind of sucks. That's not, that's not, that's just, that's just a mucus problem in general. I just, can I smack at you? Okay, well, I damaged him in midair. I know how to manage that. <laughs> okay, potion up now. Okay. Yeah! Are you serious? No, this, uh, this, this sucks. Yeah, I got him down. And we got him. Yeah, suck it, dragon. Did we really just complete this ent entire m 
island in just two episodes. I'm by a lot faster than I thought it would. Give us the map you wield. And the map? Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's. Let's get a map. <laughs> Frost by Island. Hello, I wait for you. Oh, hello, sir. I make good friend with Joker at door. He know left fist and right fist by name. Village of lost souls, all free to go. That's wonderful. But not all want go, I think. Some want, some they wait for someone important to come back, like I did. Okay, I leave to find my little girl. I remember more and more each time. Oh, I have gift for you. You got a lost soul. One soul. I find him lost in village. New arrival, maybe. He's sleeping now. Maybe you get wake up, find a way, okay? Take him. Okay, sure. Good luck to you. We'll find what we look for one day. Alright. I can't believe I actually just... Got... That was a painfully... Uh, that was a painful run, but... Oh well. Let's see, just run here. No, we can't... You get nothing from that. Alright, let's talk to you now. Thanks for everything you d you've done for me. I wish my friend was exactly like you. Um, uh, maybe... Just maybe... You're more spot on than you think you are. Okay. Let's get rid of this Naga. Now, this platform... Oh, that was a fail. There we go! Heart squid! Yeah! Unfortunately, that's all we can obtain for now. So, we're gonna have to return to this area at another point. And for now, I say... I say we assist this, um, poor lost soul before we end things off here. We're gonna make this, make that the last thing we do. Okay, this area to save, man, is just enough space where we just run away through here. And grab this heart squid. Okay, yeah, there is that heart squid in still that we haven't got. Okay, Risky, we're back. We got rid of the evil within the, within the Dinny of Evil and the other tale of suffering in the darkest part of the, um, of the Lost Souls. This is really, really dark in this, uh, in this really dark island. Now we can get out of here. You're back. Apparently, you made it through. By the skin of my teeth. I found your boots, Risky Boots. Oh, I see you. Ha ha ha. Uh, I thought it was. And the source of the Pirate Master's evil? I took care of it. No, let's clear out of here. No time to waste. Uh, yeah, I don't blame your risky boots for wanting to clear out of here as quickly as possible. Oh, uh, this area is so creepy. I don't know if I can say that enough. Okay, now that we're back here. Run all the way through here, past all these skeletons. Oh, get a super pike ball. 
Get this. The Enchanted Blade! Yes, the one that Brian's son said he lost. Sweet. Okay, now that we have Risky's boots, um, there's this path right here that I opened up last time. That I couldn't do anything about. But now. Okay, just get rid of you real quick so we don't have anything interrupting our dash. Boom! The Calcopat, right here. Some more dark magic! Sweet! Awesome! Okay, now we gotta sink down this quicksand. Actually, I was completely wrong. We could have done this sooner. I'm an I'm 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 an airhead. Ugh, I always kind of forget this detail that I could have indeed got this sooner. Ugh, my fault on that. My fault entirely. So yeah, no one to blame on me. Sorry about that. But. On that note, now I have 100% in the Tan Line Island. About freaking time, right? Okay, Abner, here I am. Look, he's back. So, what's this I hear about you and Risky Boots? What? Uh huh. You're high and mighty when it comes to us, but I suppose you can team up with her and it's all fine and dandy. You got the wrong idea. I'm just trying to help everyone I care about. Fancy that. So it brings you all the way out here anyway. Oh, um, I found a place. The village of Lost Souls. Mm -hmm. You don't need to say nothing more. I know all about it. About what? My night job. Something I'm working on. None of your biz, sis. Aww. Anyway, I found this there. Ah, how, how cute! It's a wandering soul! It must have been separated from its body and can't find its way home. Whose soul is it? That's the million dollar question, isn't it, Shantae? Only one way to find out. You just need to trigger the right memories. Maybe this fellow committed some foul deed in life, something he'd never forget. Or true love! Someone he or she will remember for all time. Or something embarrassing. Like, maybe he did diaper commercials as a child, and he still wears them because he misses being in the spotlight. You're wrong. Who, who said that? Comfort and convince. This ain't no crime. Well, it's Barracuda Joe. See? It wasn't so hard. Really. Here, take the spear to him. He'll be up and about in no time. Well, assuming he kept the body. If not, I got a few spares lying around. I don't want to use those spares. Wow, I can't believe it. It's no big deal. Listen, Roddy, I missed someone in the Village of Lost Souls. <coughs> She explained some things to me, and, well, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be your friend. <coughs> really? Through thick and thin, no matter what. Big brother? Think she means it, sis. Don't mess it up this time. Can we have it for dinner? That's the kind of garbage I'm talking about. <coughs> Jeez, my throat is kind of burning now. Ugh. Oh, well, thank goodness I'm almost done. Alright. Now we just look at this area now. It's been under complete renovation. Yes, everything is mechanized. Just... 
Uh, yeah, seriously. I've been leaning on this wall for two adventures now. But, ouch. This new metal plating is getting really hot. That's kind of what happens when it's been sitting in the sun. Not you again. I thought you were out of my hair for good. You should be ashamed of yourself for what you've done to this place. That's my hair wasn't too bright. Yeah, no kidding. That's an understatement, huh? Well, the ammo baron actually agrees with me. But at least he cared about us. You're just using this place for your own selfish gain. It's my turn, I'll do what I want. Drat, where's that blasted talking mug girl gonna arrive? And where's where I could go? I can't stall it without him. You see him around? Kind of manuscript guy. Um, run to my new recruits. Come think of it. They, they never did come back from the palace. It's taking them so blasted long. You can't get a show in the world without them either. All right. Well, first things first, we've got to recover Barracuda Joe. All right, I like this. Awaken, sweet baby sunshine. Shante, get away from him. What? Leave him. He is an eternal testament to my status as a bachelor. Seriously? No way. I won't let you, ra I won't let you waste your life standing there like that old man destroyed. I give you Barracuda Go. <clears throat> hmm. Barracuda Go's alive. This is absolutely incredible. I. How did you accomplish this, Shante? You're the most amazing friend ever. I'll never question your judgment again. Ahem. <clears throat> Joe's had time to think, and uh, lots of efficiency, and all that. Well, back to work. What? Come back here and marry me, you scumbag! You really think calling them scumbags is gonna get him to marry you? Seriously? I'm gonna go too. See you, Sky. I'm an idiot. At least I still have rent. Gaga! Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. I did not want to go back in. I did not want to go back in. Ugh. All right. We've actually done a lot this episode, so we're gonna end things off here, right? So, I guess next time, unless like Shantae and the Pirate's Curse, we're gonna return. We're gonna return his Enchanted Blade to Baron and make tracks for Frostbite Island. See you guys then.